Hello all, welcome to the stream. I'll be proceeding to work on the program. Uh, I left here last time with a very strange bug. For some reason, every time I restarted the program, the chat log module's height decreased ever so slightly. So now it's time to figure out why and how to fix this. It's also not uh, saving the the size anymore. Just telling me I screwed up something there as well. So we're gonna see why this is happening. Tried to solve it. And once I get beyond this, I'm pretty sure fixing up the other modules will not be quite as difficult. This is proving to be pretty difficult as we figure out what the conversion steps and processes are. But I assure you, once we get it, once we get it down, it should be easier. So firstly, if we look here, the chat, chat log module's height has decreased dramatically. I'm actually going to bump it up to 256 and run the program. It should start off with a window that is roughly 256 in height, except it's not. Yeah, no pointer exception. Message history. Which I guess makes sense because there's no messages. However, I don't think message history is even initialized by this point. It is. That's weird. Awkward and weird. Well, this is a wonderful way to start things off. Very strange. So moving on with the sizing of this window. The height is actually set to 33 once again. So my guess is me messing around with the sizing and the packing earlier caused issues. So I'm going to set this back. I'm going to go ahead and resize this one more time manually for now. It should bring it back to normal size, which it did. 256 by 256. I'm gonna go ahead and close the window. The height has been reduced by 16 pixels. I believe at some point I added a minus 16 somewhere. There it is. Update position. Why did I do this? I am not exactly sure, but it is definitely screwing up with my pro with my program. So we can see the actual start to this file is lower than it wants to be, but the window's initial size is no longer changing, so that's good. Now we just have to get the display working correctly again. I think I'm trying to think the best way to fix this. The reason why we have the additional 16 pixels is because of the fact that the 
bottom of the window is not necessarily the height, but 16 pixels less than the height. So with that in mind, we have to adjust the modules to respect that. So when we draw all these messages, how about we subtract 16? I think that would be our best bet here. Let's take the Y position, subtract 16 from it. Uh, I believe we do the same with the Y position here. Minus 8. That should get everything set up properly, for the most part. What is this image? Message separator? It's fine. That leaves just the emoticons, which need to be bumped up as well. Subtract 16 from those. I think we'll end up with a decent setup here. Almost. Looks like it's more than 16 pixels. Perhaps... 24 pixels? Ideally, I want these modules to have a variable stored. that the order takes up reduces the size of the window so we can use this instead of adding numbers everywhere and causing issues for us to fix all this again So instead of plus 16, it's going to be plus 12. We'll do it this way. We'll add the 16 back and then subtract the window extra border. Like so. pretty close. At least everything's just in one variable now that we can adjust. So we can go for 32 pixels. Mine too. And it looks like that's perfect for our purposes. The other thing I would like to do is if we were to resize the window, then I would like to be able to Everything else adjust accordingly. Uh oh, that's not what. That is not good. I don't understand what just happened.
Also, I feel like we need to re-import the messages whenever we uh, resize. I mean, I guess it's not it's not a big deal. We just have to reset the scroll log y offset. Well, we can keep that the same. We just have to reinitialize all the messages upon any type of resize. Now I know for a fact that there were two methods that caused resizing to occur. Move and resize. I think we're only concerned with the resizing though. So if this happens... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set up for a resize. When we do resize, we also need to repaint. Something I forgot to do as well. We'll just repaint in here. And... We'll clear all of our message history. And then we will reinitialize. I think that should be all we need to do for that. Program should take care of the rest. I do this. Boom. I scroll up. Oh, the emoticons have to do take care of those too. So. Chat log twitch emoticons dot clear. Should get rid of everything related to that. So if I do this and then I resize, it's going to move everything. Cool. This way when everything resize, everything wraps back around like so. I think it doesn't respect the width. Right how I want it to. So I might need to fix that. Yeah, it, it like cuts off one letter. So I think I have to decrease the, the width of the wrapping a tiny bit. I think the wrapping is, yeah, right here. Max width. I guess if we increase the border spacing, we'll get a better... We go for 16 pixels or something. Should be enough room for any wrapped text to not screw us over. Size this. Cool. doesn't trim anything off anymore, so that's good. I like it. I do like it. just not wrapping it anymore? What the heck? Hello? Oh. I think sometimes it doesn't call it. Call the wrapping. Or the resize. I don't know why. It's very weird though. doesn't want to call the resize sometimes. It's kind of buggy.
That is kind of buggy. Need to figure out why that happens. It might just be because of this thing again. Like, when we save the properties, we need to save them. I feel like we could thread this. I think we should thread it. Probably need to thread it. Of course, there's already something called M. No word wrap for the text if the- no. It's not word wrapping because it's not updating. It's, a, it's an entirely different issue. Redraws but does not resize, so that is not the issue. So, threading it did not help. Let's see. Just doesn't work sometimes. I don't know if it's my code that's flawed or something else. I always said position needs updating equal to whatever the current time is. I go to zero and it's greater than a thousand. It means a whole second has passed. Position needs updating gets set to zero. Set this all up. Don't know why... Why do I do this? I think it's because it's a little buggy. If I don't... If all the chat log messages get moved, then I clear it. What's the point? There is no point. We just reset them. So this isn't actually necessary, because we're just going to reinitialize it now. Let's try it that way. Although I feel like this is good for buffering, at the very least. So it's not constantly doing this as we're resizing it. It says to keep reading from file. Yeah. So I want to repaint occasionally. Don't know why. I think it's only... It's only the lower right corner, for whatever reason. For some reason, the lower right corner is causing issues. So maybe on up, on run, we have to constantly check if the position is... size has changed. Instead of doing it this way. We just make up our own component resized. really dumb. Thank you. 
and or let's try it that way because I'll be better. Well, I don't have anything that will trigger it though, so we need to separate this. Positions need updating equals current time. And we'll perform the update. We're just making our own artificial resizing detection because apparently does not work. Eh. The width and height does not get updated unless it gets resized. Ideally we could just get the component width and height. We're relying on those to be updated right now. Let's do it this way. Not the panel, the... I guess it would be this frame. We just check for this width, this height. Yeah, this frame's width or height changes. Should know. Oh, you know what? It's probably not changing because it's permanently saying it needs to be updated. So we need to do. That's why it's not working. Only check when this doesn't need updating. Did that backwards. the behavior works for long lines. Don't think... Test. Oh, it just breaks with the long lines. That actually makes sense. Okay. So come up with a decent compromise for that. Yeah, it does this. Okay. Let's look for the next space. If we don't. So I'm going to have to delve into the word wrapping. See what's up with that. Break text that next section. Find the index of a space. If it can't find one, then the marker will be the message length, which means it's done or should be done. Do we a substring from zero to marker? And we get a substring of marker to whatever the message.length is, which will return a string of size zero. Marker gets set to one. I need to see what I need to see is this because this is gonna actually tell me a lot. Is that 
something just breaks up all the text. So, here it said 175, then 170, then 162. That was the remaining text width. A substring of 0 to marker, with marker being 1. So, to fix this, we only wrap when there is a space. So we don't do any of this. Is this a loop? Does it... Oh, it does a loop. Rud. Okay. That means we have to set the marker... The length of the message, minus one. out here this should be actually I don't think it sorry right. okay I think this is what I was looking for the index of something I give one if it does not occur good work wait what oh I see zero right Is equal to negative. Wait. Oh. Do. So that means it finds one. What's that even possible? Maybe it's being broken. Okay, the width raw message equals this. So this is supposed to break up text based on. So what is being sent here? <laughs> it's been a long time since I had to mess with this code, okay.
So this is how- oh, it's trying to shrink down the width. But there's no spaces, that's the problem. So... This raw message being sent... Should be... Oh, there is a space! I add one. Oops. That actually... Screwed things up. I remove it. I think. And what happens? Oh, maybe we actually get something normal. Isn't... Oh, you know what? I think now it's... Now there's no space at the end, so the last word never gets considered for wrapping. But... We should only be allowed to break up text out words. So never should we have one of these. If... Marker should always be. Starting marker should always be. The index of this thing. At first. Good. That was the fix. Uh, oh, I broke it somehow. I think the, the scroll lines got screwed up or something. Let's see. Yeah, I made the scroll Y. So the scroll Y offset needs to be changed to something reasonable if... We're... Honestly, if we resize, I think we should just scroll to the bottom, because otherwise it's gonna screw over everything if it's too big. Or we define the limits. Let's see. Where is scrolling? It's down in here. Just go to the end, honestly. All right, that works. Cool. Wait, we can't scroll to the top because we're a couple pixels short now since we bumped up the whole text by 32 pixels. So we need to extend the upper range. Get highest message position. Plus... Module... 
window extra border, or minus I should say. And... Highest messages visible. What is, is visible is true if. Alright, we got the subtract stuff from here. Which subtracting? Let's try that. Let's see. Wait, oops. Not this one. Nope. So these can run at a higher FPS. It's pretty good. Although you probably don't want to, because it consumes a lot more resources. Nice. What are we saying yet, memory-wise? This one? Again, I feel like the property saving needs to be throttled significantly. That's just me. number of calls to the, the run methods, it really amps up the speed at which memory accumulates. Alright, well, every every bug has been fixed, so that's good. Some of it was even buggy before moving to the new module system, so I just fixed those things while I was at it. Yeah, well. I just have to remove the debug messages. I think there was only one. 
grab text or something. Right there. I guess we'll move on to another module now. The scrolling text module. While the features are not new, the fact that it's becoming a, a separate module is new, instead of being directly embedded into the chat program like it was before. So it's just gonna be a new mod new module directly called scrolling chat handle that. So the scrolling chat module is actually the one that's going to handle the ability to connect to Twitch and all that. So we're gonna pull directly from here. Initialize IRC connection method. Looks like it's public and static, so just call it straight from there. need to supply all of these arguments, which we should already have at this point. The OAuth token comes from reading the file. now aware that the OAuth token is 36 characters in length, so we will always trim it and cut it down, taking the substring of 0 to 36. Thirty-six minus 1, so 35. Uh, whichever is larger. This, well, actually, whichever is smaller. This or the length of the file data. And that will create our OAuth token. It will attempt to connect. many times. If it for some reason cannot, then it will just die. Eventually. Once scrolling chat is set up, we're gonna set up the run or update for it. Like once we're in, we're just running the IRC loop and listening for stuff. The rest of it is actually done through the panel. This has got to be changed. Actually, it might not have to be changed. It's just called here. So all we have to constantly run is the stuff we had before. So we had update scrolling text. Update authentication countdown message. What's this? Yeah, that works. No 
don't need to do that. Update sub emoticons. Okay. That's where this happens too, huh? So, quite a few things going on here. I'm surprised it's done in a run event. Kinda. Not really. Wait to expose all of these. public and static now. Oh, crud. It's not gonna work. They were assumed to be private. We can just move everything over. That's fine too. It's just a little more annoying. Because most of them are using static variables anyways. all the modules in here anymore. You need to process text rows. Don't need to repaint the panel. Don't need to do this. Custom sound cooldowns, sure. Text object, twitch emoticons, okay. We need some variables. Visible, please. Some of those were not public. The other ones are just local variables. So we need this. Need this. What else we got? Did I already do that? Come on. I'll save timer and message timer. Saves the last time. Oh, we're not doing this. Need that. That is that was quite a mess, honestly. The way it was designed that way. Quite the mess. Public public. Alright. That should take care of most everything. I need to refactor this to scrolling chat module. I'm not as confused. Alright. So the draw is what we're gonna have to update. A lot of it is currently referencing the panel for drawing, so we gotta fix that. I don't even see draw here. Where's draw? Hello? 
Oh, draws done in the panel, which was commented out. So it's all of this and all of this. It's gonna go in the draw. Last mouse X and last mouse Y. That is... Well, I don't know about this one. Is this going to be last mouse X and last mouse Y relative to this component? Usually I pull it from SIG IRC, but the thing is... Or panel? Yeah, panel. Where does the panel get it from? Oh, right here. Okay. So it gets the relative position from the panel. Which is not what we want anymore. Because... Everything can be moved around, so we're not comparing it to the panel anymore. We're just getting an absolute position on the screen, taking our current position, and subtracting it from us. So honestly, this should be good. Actually... No, it's not. We need to subtract our position from Then we obtain a relative position that we can use for comparing those. We'll have to test that out later. XREF is visible. So we got all this stuff here. The panel's width it needs to be changed to the... Uh... Need to find a way to send this module in. Alternatively, we make this static. Chat module, module. Then we can reference it that way. Can replace all the panel stuff with this stuff. I feel like there should be more to this, but I don't see anything off the top of my head. So what I'm gonna do now is try to initialize this thing and see if we can get back the functionality we had before.
Because there might be a few other bugs with this. There probably are. So, set up the scrolling chat module here. Since there is no scrolling chat module yet, none of the variables it needs have been initialized. But that's okay. So I can just fix that right now. Followed the new naming convention. I guess it's not new, I've been doing it this whole time, but definitely not be doing what I'm doing right now. Since I made all the others the same way. These are all lowercase though. Now to initialize those. Should be okay. Okay, with this setup, should be good to go. And this thing was literally the purpose of me building SIG IRC, so it's gotta be good. It's gotta be one of the first things I work on. Alright. So I guess now it's time to give it a shot, see what blows up, or what we have to fix. Probably gonna connect me to the thing eventually. Or am I not at all? I don't actually see the other window popped up, so I assume it's working, kinda. Test. I mean, it doesn't look like anything worked here because no messages popped up. It's fine. The main window didn't pop up, which is interesting. Guess it didn't want to. Macho button. Alright, well let's see if the chat module even exists to begin with. Always e easiest to start with something like this. Test at the corner of the window. Okay, 
So I do see the word test, so we know that's running. I don't know why the other window stuff is not appearing. Something weird must have happened. Oh. I mean, the rectangle initializes, right? It just doesn't keep going. There. It just stops. I think he's trying to do something with connecting. Maybe I screwed this up? I doubt it. Unless my OAuth token is not filled out right. I gotta check that. Oops. Nope, looks right to me. So we initialize with the server, nickname, channel, and OAuth token. They are all correct. <clears throat> Let's see if any of this runs, or if it authenticates or whatever. Got to here. So we did get to there. All the other windows are dead. I have to figure this out later. Get to here. Are we verified? Like, this is working. That's good. I guess this isn't threaded. That's the thing. Not thread safe. So how- wait, why is this in- Okay, yeah, this is in Cigar C. This is in the scrolling chat module. It's probably not running because this is an infinite loop and we're not threading it. That's why. Go 
it in there and we're good to go. There we go. Now it's started and I assume it worked. Let's see. Test. So it doesn't show anything here. Which means it's not actually connected. Or constantly checking for stuff. So if we're running this IRC loop, constantly checking for stuff, sending it. Let's see if this happens. Ping. Authenticated. Blah. Raw message. Although this should technically appear. We're gonna see. Authenticated. Okay. Test. Nothing. Nothing. It's now running the loop or something. I mean, we don't get a ping, so... Something's not coming through. But we know we got to here. We authenticated one time. Join channel. We're now logged in from the IRC loop. I assume it's an actual loop. Let's see. Well, it is. Checking for it. waiting for data. It should be say this constantly. Should not stop saying this. Did it like six times and then stopped. Why? That's not right. How did I do this before? I literally did it from here. Just did. Initialize modules, perform updates, initialize IRC connection. It handled the rest for me. Like, that was the important part. Maybe it's because it's threaded? 
really doubt that. If it started, it should go down or stay indefinitely. For the most part. What's different? Maybe I should figure out what kind of messages we're reading. has to do with having two of these. Let me close this one. No. Oh. That doesn't do it. Me. This one more time. Nothing. Nothing at all. have to be complete. I forgot about that. Just a random thing I forgot. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually working. Don't know what's going on with this window, but it just, like, died on me. It's a good thing, though. Alright, so now... Figure out if it's within bounds. This is the annoying part, because the X and Y position going to be set when it's created. Each row is currently set up to be in certain positions. Let me see here. I'm just gonna increase this by a lot. There's a thing over there. Okay, that's useful.
So I assume scrolling text doesn't show because the X and Y position is set to something weird when it's first created. Probably based on the panel's position. So we need to fix that first of all. So we do add message. Add message. The X and the Y position. I guess that's fine actually. It's not this though, it's not the panel. It's scrolling chat module. That's one thing we have to fix. It's gonna be the width of that window. Scrolling to the left. This time it's not complaining about my OAuth token, but I don't see why it did before anyway. The Pog Champ again. Or Swift right now. I don't know where the text is. I need to figure that out. This draw is called from here. Means it should run, technically. If it is active, it's alive. I mean, it should be alive when it starts, I presume. This alive is true. It intersects with this. Stacks. This is overlay mode. Otherwise, it just draws it. it is alive and within bounds. XY. The width of the font. Height of the font. Pair two. Aha. There's another one or two or three. change all of these, man. Not that these matter, these are obsolete, but... Need to find out if this runs.
world is going on? Why is there a breakpoint here? That's annoying. Okay, I'm probably gonna go get some dinner. I need to figure out what's going on with this later. I don't think you'll be too bad. Just the biggest issue is when transferring it over, there's a couple of things. A lot of old code that has to be redone. That's the biggest issue right now. But I'll work on fixing it. For those of you that tuned in, thanks for watching. I might be back later tonight. Maybe more programming. Maybe Rebby Ribby. We'll see. See you guys later.